Hello, my name is Lindsay Weirich, and today I'm going to show you how to make some mini masterpieces using ink tense pencils and bottle caps. We will make cute, adorable little mini paintings. They can be used for so many things from pins to necklaces to magnets, and we're going to use a limited amount of supplies. Just with a 12 set of Derwent ink tense pencils, you can create an unbelievable variety of projects. So without further ado, let's get to the table and I'll show you how it's done. Using a smooth watercolor paper, mixed media paper, or Bristol board, I traced a one inch circle all over a sheet of paper. This is a great way to reduce supplies in the classroom if you're teaching a bunch of people. Then I used micron pens to sketch a little scene inside each of the circles. You could do animals curled up sleeping, landscapes, trees, flowers, fruit slices, you name it. You can really be creative with this. Once the ink is dry from your waterproof pens, you want to go ahead and start coloring your images. Now remember, you can mix and overlap your colors to create an infinite variety of tones, like I'm doing here with this shell. I'm going to use some sun yellow, some magenta, I'm going to use some blue for the background. Be creative. These colors are transparent, which means they tend to mix really well without getting muddy. Now here's where the magic happens. Simply using water and a brush, we're going to work over our design and look how vibrant our colors are. We have turned that pencil into ink and it's going to be waterproof once dry. But the key is you need to wet all of those areas of color where you colored with your ink tense pencils. If you don't wet it down, it is going to spread if water touches it. So you really wanna make sure you liquefy all of the particles here. Now another fun technique you can do on the wet paper is you can go in with a sharp pencil and you can redefine some of your areas where you want, want more intense color. So here I'm going over with a sharp magenta pencil just to intensify the kind of like little rib structure on the Nautilus shell. Once your circles are dry, you can cut them out. You can either do that with scissors or with dies or using a paper punch like I'm using here. You just want to use a one inch paper punch if that's what you're going to do. And I recommend using it upside down like I am here so you can see through the window to make sure you have it lined up. Otherwise, it would be really difficult to figure out exactly where to punch. But scissors will work just as well if you don't have a punch. You can use either recycled bottle caps or brand new bottle caps for this project. Recycled bottle caps that you save from soda bottles will have a smaller footprint because the edges will be crimped up like this orange one here, whereas new bottle caps will be flared out. And if you want to make a cute little frame like that one in the middle, all you have to do is put it um, on a like a cement surface and whack the back of it with a rubber mallet and it will make a cute little frame for you. I like to use hot glue to glue my pictures inside the bottle caps because it helps fill in the gap created by the seal that's in the bottle cap. You could also pull the seal out and use a different type of glue if you prefer. You can also use low temperature hot glue so you don't have to worry about burning yourself. To press the picture into the glue, I like to use a silicone tool. There are several ways you can seal your image. I'm using some three-dimensional paper glaze and how you use this is you carefully make a border of the glaze around the edge of your paper circle and then you fill in the inside with the paper glaze. Now you can also brush on any clear glue to seal this or you can buy one inch epoxy stickers that are clear that you can just stick on top. So do whatever you prefer for this step. If you're using paper glaze like I did, you're going to need to let these dry 24 hours and this is how they'll look when they're done. Otherwise, you can use a clear sticker if you don't want to wait. If you want to change the color of the frames of your bottle cap ornaments or pendants, you can use any permanent marker. Here I'm using a golden brown Copic marker to make the frame around this Nautilus bottle cap look a little bit more golden so it will match my jewelry finding I'm going to use. Finishing these pieces is really simple. Just use a dab of jewelry grade epoxy and put it on the back of your bottle cap and use glue on bales to turn them into pendants or you can use other findings depending on what you want to make. Here after the glue is cured you just put in a string and there we have a pendant that is adorable. And you can also make pins for like uh, wearing your bottle cap art on your backpack or on a scarf or whatnot. Just put a good amount of glue and then you want to use a glue on pin back. And when you push that on, you want to make sure the glue actually comes up through the little holes there. That's going to give you an extra secure bond so that it won't break apart when you're wearing it. Now these two part epoxies and jewelry glues can be quite stinky. So if you are sensitive to smells, you could use a hot glue. Just really make sure you get 
that glue up and through the holes to hold it on there a little bit better because hot glue is not as strong as a jewelry glue. But there you have it. I want to thank you so much for watching this tutorial today and I hope you give it a try. Thanks again. Until next time, happy crafting.